Howdy folks, John here. Welcome to Ye Old Woodpile. It never fails. Almost done. And we have a major snafu. Just have a few logs left and this is what uh, happened to the old log splitter. So ram splitter, toughest log splitters in the business. I can't fault this thing. Um, had this log splitter for about 10 years now. I've split a good amount of wood, but it is all softwood. It's all pine. And that to me, you can see the uh, crack started right at the weld. So whether the weld was too hot and it compromised the steel and just over the years it's cracked, we don't know. So can't get the uh, last of the wood split today. We're gonna have to go in, take this thing apart and weld it up, see you in the shop. It's interesting, I was half expecting to see some rust in here indicating a crack that was developing over time. Water migrates into it and starts rusting, but there's no rust at all. So this cracked fairly recently, probably just in the last, you know, maybe 50 pieces of wood, maybe even less. So I've got to get this beam off. The, the splitter all here is all cocked tight. I might even have bent the pin, I don't know, I doubt it, but I'm gonna have to uh, take these bolts off and to get this beam off, it's gonna be pretty easy. Just have to unbolt the cylinder. I don't think we're gonna have to remove any of the hydraulic lines, can just fold it out of the way and then take this beam off. I totally forgot about six years ago, this end of the splitter started cracking and I had to, uh, Metal hot glue that as well, i.e. MIG, because I'm a horrible welder, but at least uh, the old monkey can handle a MIG welder like most people can. The operative word is crap. Yeah, gonna have to take this hydraulic fitting off because the valve body bracket is in the way and you can't remove the valve body bracket. It's welded onto the beam. That wasn't too bad. Not much leaked out. Just put some plugs in while we do the rest of this. So that was the only fitting that had to come off. And as far as the beam goes, we just have to take this pin out and that pin and off she comes. That thing came off like a boat anchor. It's gotta be 200 pounds if it's an ounce. I really don't know how I'm gonna straighten this. It's, yeah. I don't know. I gotta think about this one. What do you think? A few love taps with the old six pounder? Holy flack. Not a chance. Hydraulic force broke it. I think hydraulic force is needed to bend it back. This is wrong on so many levels. I think the straps are just going to break, but uh, I'm going to try to back the hydraulic ram back and see if we can get it to straighten. I do have a chain, but uh, I'd rather this not be the last video I ever make. Just gonna go slow here at first. Nothing. Uh, I've decided to quit while I'm ahead. Those straps were under so much tension and if something lets go, yeah, I won't be around to tell you about it anymore. I may be stupid, but I'm not dumb. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, folks, I think we got her beat. And no, not, uh, not with that strap. I soon realized that there was no way a home gamer could repair this by trying to pull it back together. You know, the steel had stretched, so the only way to get it back together was to grind out the steel with the old grinder, probably took a good eighth to quarter inch out and pulled it together now. You know, I didn't grind any off the back, so you know, on the back here, we're just acting as a hinge. And it's nice and straight using the straight edge here and also on the side because it also had a bit of a bend to it. So I straightened the side bend out as well. So I'm just going to use the uh, metal hot snot on the top here 
just to hold it together and then I've got to come in with the grinder again to bevel this crack out on each side so we can fill it that in. Three passes later, not overly pretty, but I'm sure it'll hold. She's all back together. And there is the job. So any experienced welders out there, if you want to leave comments, yeah, I'm a dumbass. I want to know what I did wrong, what, if anything, I did right, and how long do you think it's going to last? We'll head out to the wood pile and we'll see if we can finish the rest of the wood. Moment of truth. Don't see any flexion? So if anyone's got a ram splitter, log splitter, I'd like to know if you've had issues like this with it. And again, any welders out there, be neat to know what the failure mechanism was. As you can see, I filleted this quite a bit. Hopefully it won't break, but I don't know. I'm just a home gamer. Cheers folks, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.